Jeff Head with today's thoughts. Uh, we're going to talk about texting and driving today um, out here in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. We're going to use the help of a friend that I met out there. Uh, you'll see him off to right here in just a second. There's Tom with his car. Coming from a dead stop off the ramp, you know, and so he did stop for a moment and did something over there. I assume it was to safely text, but we're going to speed ahead a little bit here. And because it's like 10 minute video, I don't want to hold you up the whole 10 minutes. But now when he come off the ramp, I watch him as he passes me and I look down and sure enough, he's still down there texting on that telephone. And notice his blanker, he's still wanting to go left, but you know, he's over here. He's going to come over. He's going to bounce off that white line a time or two. And as this other traffic comes up on him, he's going to you know, work his way over to the left. You'll see him. And, you know, he, he passed me at a 75 mile an hour speed zone and he slows back down. Because he's got to deal with that text. He can't run that fast. He can't be behind me and trying to text back there because, you know, it, it's hard to watch down at your phone and not run into the big truck that's up in front of you. Look, look how far he's slowing down here. So. He, he's doing everything he can, and as a professional driver, my job is to stay as far away from this guy as, as, as we possibly can. And we're going to speed up here in just a minute, and we're going to follow him down around a little bit closer to Santa Rosa. And as you watch him again, you're going to notice that he, once again, has slowed back down. So he's had time to send or receive a text, send it out, get one back. Now he's got to read it, think about what he's going to say. Get it all text down in there, you know, but all this is taken away from his ability to drive that car in a situation, you know, on that road 75 mile an hour speed limit. He's got an 18 wheeler on his tail and he had a little water in the way there, but so I decided to go on and step around because he's really gotten slow. I mean, at 75 mile an hour, he's doing about 55. So we figure we're going to take off and go on around him. And I glance over, and of course, he's not paying attention to what he's doing, but when I pass him, I seem to wake him up. And if you watch him in the right fender mirror up there, from 55, now we're doing 75 coming down off this hill. And he's back there racing me. And then woke him up. And I finally get just barely far enough ahead of him to get back over, which I'll do right here in just a second. But I want you to watch what he does after I get back over into this other lane. Because he, he's so involved in trying to figure out how to, how to do that text, but not run into this big truck that seems to be messed with. And there he comes, right there in that left, left front mirror up there. So it's kind of hard to text behind an 18 wheeler because you're constantly looking up trying not to hit it to tail, tail end it. But if you can get in front of it and slow down, well now we can text all day long and the truck hits you, well that's the truck's fault, not, not yours. But we don't figure this game out. This guy is going to be doing anything to put himself in the most dangerous situation on that highway in front of my truck. There's only one thing left for me to do at this point, and that's to get as far away from this man as I possibly can. So one of the tactics that I use from here is get off at a ramp. But as you can see, this ramp here, it comes down around, and I would have to U-turn my 18-wheeler at the bottom of that ramp to get back up. So I fall back on my speed, doing the unsafe, safe thing of running 55 mile an hour in a 75 mile an hour zone. But that's what it takes to get away from that guy. Because he's speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. Try to pass him, he's going to race you. You get in front of him, he's going to come back around you. He's going to get right in front of you. He's going to slow down again. He's going to do everything he can to keep himself to where he can text on that phone. But not cause an accident. He don't mind, well... He don't mind if he causes somebody else to cause an accident, but he's going to do everything he can so that he don't cause an accident. So 
So we come to the bottom of the ramp and we sit down there. This is all coming off my 14 air. I've, I've got a log book I've got to keep up with. And all this is coming out of that time. But the most important thing here is we got away from him. We saved his life, my career, and that's my job as a professional driver. Have a good day, folks. Um, I hope this, this helps you some realizing what you look like when you're texting. I hope she. I hope it helps you to figure out your job when it comes to you know keeping these people alive. And um, that's it for me. I'm out of here, everybody. Uh, drive safe. Hope you make a dollar or two at it.